YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I just finished up my AMRAP block last week of training. I ended up hitting 525 by 10 on deadlift, 245 by 8 on bench, and 370 by 8 on squat. Um, that has increased my projected max on all three lifts, and I will now be using those three estimations for my training leading up to my next meet, Collegiate Worlds. Right now, I am on my computer. I am creating a website to start selling strength training programs. It's going to be more like a power building program, but heavily focused on strength. So if you guys are interested in getting some strength gains, be sure to be on the lookout for when I do drop the website and head over there and check it out. I am also thinking about doing some online coaching, one-on-one. Um, -on -one. Not a lot of clients, very limited spots, just so I can give my full time to my client. I don't want to, you know, bullshit around and give out just handmade programs for everything and just, you know, cut people short, but I'm going to be working on that for probably the next three hours. It's about 9.30 right now. I just woke up, um, went to the bathroom, weighed myself. I weighed 150.5 pounds. That's pretty much going to be the maintenance weight um, for Collegiate Worlds. Also, I do want to give a little mention on what my idea is for the programs and the training. Uh, for the programs, I'm thinking of creating some beginner and then maybe some more intermediate slash experienced uh, programs. They're probably going to be around 9 to 12 weeks. And it's pretty much going to be power lifting based and then just have a few accessories to complement the movement that you were doing that day. Um, I plan to sell them for pretty cheap. Um, I do have a lot of knowledge with strength training and I think for what I'm able to give out, the pricing will be just right. For coaching, um, I'm only going to give people um, the training if they are very serious about it. And it's going to be pretty one-on-one, -on -one. you know, you'll be able to contact me whenever I'll assist you with a form and technique. And then I'll be there every step of the way as you go through the weekly training. Um, hopefully we get the clients to do a meet. If not, then you'll just max out um, in the gym on your own time. But yeah, it's you know, I'm pretty excited. I've always wanted to do this. I never really had the time with school and training myself. But with summer here and I'm not working yet, I figured this is probably the best time to get as much stuff done right now, all the backlog stuff, and then, you know, push it out as I start working. So I'm excited. Stay tuned. Hopefully I can release the programs that I create as well as start my one-on-one -on -one coaching within the next month or two. Um, I'm going to start work here in about three-ish, four weeks, and I'm just going to get down to business every day and create something that I truly love and hopefully create something that you guys will love as well. So. I'm going to get down to business and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Just created some breakfast. Um, got two servings of Kodiak cakes and then five slices of this turkey bacon that my mom got me. I'm going to eat this right now and then head to the gym. Eating is like such a weird concept to me. Like you spend so much time cooking and cleaning, but the meal itself maybe takes 10 to 15 minutes to eat. I just realized like by focusing a lot into my diet, I spend so much time eating and cleaning and cooking and it's just like a never ending process but it's worth it in the end. Yeah this bulk has really helped fill me out. It's just so nice like waking up, really not even eating and still being full. I think after this powerlifting meet I'm really gonna put on some size and maybe do a bodybuilding show next year. We'll see though. Um, it's always been one of the goals of mine to do that, but I've just been so focused on powerlifting because it's been going so well the past four years that I don't really want to stop powerlifting just yet. But definitely in the near future, I believe I'll do a show maybe in like one year. But yeah, I'm going to get ready for the gym right now. I wear Fitletics every single day to the gym. Code KNOAC if you ever need new gym apparel or a fresh new style. So... Be sure to check that out if you do, and I appreciate it if you use my code. Today in the gym, it's just um, some squat variation and bench variation. This entire week is called a washout week, and pretty much we deviate heavily from squat, bench, and deadlift. We just do variations that aren't really the same uh, motor path as the regular compound. So it's like two count, pause squat, and then flat dumbbell match, I believe. So it's just pretty light intensity, high volume though, just push some blood around and pretty much just give my body a good rest 
from all the powerlifting that I've been doing the past several weeks. And then next week, because today is Friday, next week on Monday, I will start World Prep officially. There's absolutely no better feeling than a Friday afternoon lift. Sun's out, pre-workout is flowing, music's vibing. Just puts me in a great mood, you know? And I think that's like a big part of my training is the energy and what I bring to the gym. You know, if I go to the gym and I'm really not in the right headspace and everything is just really not there for me that day, I'm not gonna really have the best session, but when the, the vibes are there, everything's feeling good, that's when I'm in my element. All right, so I just got to the gym. It's honestly not that crowded. I'm hoping to make this a very efficient one, but I just got done stretching and oh my God, I'm more sore than I thought. Three days ago, I went barefoot skiing. For those of you who don't know, it's pretty much you instead of like wakeboarding like wearing a like snowboard or like water skiing wearing skis you're actually barefooting but it's kind of like skiing but it requires a lot of like twisting and upper body strength and my abs my groin my quads and honestly my calves they're all like completely sore still so we're going to hop into it right now i'll just show you my top set i got a top set of four for the uh two count pause squats so I will warm up and show you guys that. I'm like way tighter than I thought. I'm like more tight than like a fourth grade kid going out to a football scrimmage and just getting absolutely tossed around out there because he's a running back and he's like 4'3", 150 pounds and everyone's like 5'6". 200 pounds, he's just getting freaking absolutely mashed on. The next day, he's so sore, he can't even move. That's kind of how I feel right now. Hips are a little tight right now, and uh, we're forcing it though. We're really stretching at the bottom. Paw squats are feeling good so far. It's only one plate though. We're up to two right now. Top set of four at seven there. Yeah, I'm a little exhausted after that. My quads are definitely feeling a little bit. Hips a little tight, sinking into the hole. Uh, spring out of it pretty well. Form is pretty locked in for all I could say, but yeah, we're ready to cap it there, do some back downs, and then move on to our next exercise, which is flat dumbbell bench. Gonna try to go with the 65s for a three by eight. Yesterday I hit incline bench and uh, shoulders, so my whole upper chest is fried. Triceps are fatigued too, so hopefully we do this under like an RP7 for each set and uh, just get a good pump. Moving on to lat pull downs right now, we're doing a close trip, bring the elbows in, really contract the lats. Uh, easy sets here, just get some blood flow to the lats. Good squeezing, let's get it. Every time I take my gear off, I get yelled at. Literally, like I took it off last week for like 0.2 seconds up there. The uh, guy at the front came and yelled at me. He's like, I heard someone taking their shirt off. I'm like, oh my god, how do you even see that? I should take mine off right now. Oh, you did take that off. <laughs> Shit. Biceps. Cable biceps. It sucks about these, my arms are so long. Really got to get at an incline right here just to allow the bicep to stretch. Perfect, brand new tripod. <laughs> My little videographer over here got a little clumsy. Stepped on it, <laughs> but he stepped on it a little bit. We're not gonna talk about it's it. It's all good. It still works, honestly. Hey, I mean, it, it'll, it'll probably be more stable now. It, yeah, this is like flat, yeah. and yeah. sometimes this just like clicks. It's, yeah. I need to be right in the middle. Yeah. And I can just lay it up on this one and give it a nice little angle. <laughs> it's perfect, actually. This is actually what I needed. I didn't even know I needed it, but I, it works. I got you, bro. <laughs> I'll just put that away now. Look, you guys just see, but like my bruise right there from barefooting. Got absolutely just clobbered. Can you see that? Can you see that? There it is. Yeah, absolutely just clobbered. 
I'm gonna try some posing right now though. There you go. A little dry right now. I feel really good though, it was a good workout. Hit arms at the end, see little veins popping through. Lean right now. See the striations a little bit in the quad, I don't know if you can tell, but get a little back update. It's one of my favorite poses right here. Quad out, hips in, obliques, bicep. It's a lot, but if you have the focus to do it at the end of a workout, it looks pretty sick because you're all dry and lean from the workout. I really don't drink water during a workout, which is pretty bad, but I do have plenty of water after the gym. Not as much as a, like before the gym. But yeah, definitely a little dry towards the end of the workout. It's kind of one of my cheat codes for staying lean at the gym is just training without water. I don't recommend it, but <laughs> get some upper chest striations coming in from incline. Some separation across the midline from competition bench and flat dumbbell bench. Some kid came up to me, asked if I did bodybuilding. Unfortunately, told him no, it's strictly powerlifting. He's like, damn, bro, you look like you do very well in a competition. Asked me if I'd ever compete. And I said, yeah, maybe in a year. You know, I was telling you guys earlier, but. I don't really know. Workout is complete. We're gonna go have a protein shake, little meal, and then probably continue editing uh, the website and creating some training programs. Get online coaching on the way. So I just got back from the gym. I just cooked up some leftovers. We have turkey sausage, skirt steak, and asparagus. Unfortunately, there's no carb source with this meal because I ran out of sweet potato um, yesterday. So I'll have to see if I have any pasta or rice in the pantry and then cook that after this. But yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then get to work um, on my coaching and website. Like, comment, and subscribe on this video and be sure to check out the next video next week. Until then, stay safe.